Okay, good morning, everyone. It's uh, March 28th, uh, coming close to Easter in some parts of the world. Um, and we're in the week, month four, week three <clears throat> of core day. And yeah, morning stand up. And we're going to go straight into a Q&A afterwards. Uh, today is, we've been a little bit delayed. So in terms of announcements, the auto job matching has been a little bit delayed. I saw a notification go out this morning. So I think that uh, you will start to receive some today. I know the team is working hard on it. I think the problem is a little bit more pernicious than we had thought, a little bit more difficult to solve than we had thought, but the team is working on it. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be applying for jobs in our group. So when AI is not working as we expect, we're going to be using uh, human intelligence or just hard work. And so today our target uh, is 50 jobs for the for the day. It's going to be a heavy lift. And uh, so A, it's going to be a heavy lift. B, it's achievable. And C, it's achievable if we're smart. And D, part of being smart is working in groups. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be a lot of work. So that's going to be the focus for today. So with that, I'd love to hear uh, how everyone is feeling, how they feel about maybe the key questions I have are people's uh, satisfaction with the materials, the job application materials that they've put together. And um, yeah, I actually don't want to know if you think you can make 50 jobs because I know you can make 50 jobs. I'd just like to hear some uh, comments or reflections on people's uh, satisfaction with their materials. And if there's any uh, comments or questions, blockers to address, we could take them right now. Otherwise, we will have a longer Q&A session, uh, which is going to uh, we'll go into straight afterwards if not. Another announcement that I think is important to make, we have applications for Cohort B, which are closing on Sunday, the 31st of March. Um, I think for those of you who have encouraged other people to apply, we will see a different uh, sort of cohort. I think one thing is we will not be covering Web3 in Cohort B because we see that uh, we always work backwards from what the employment market is looking like. And the employment market has said a little bit, uh, put cohort B, or sorry, has put web three, not cohort B, even if they run, uh, has put that on pause. So that's gonna be one difference. The second is we've made quite a push and we're expecting a significantly more international group. Um, so notably hoping for uh, or expecting, and if we see, look in terms of application numbers, we're seeing progress there. Um, I don't think we have any Nigerians in the group today, which is a little bit shocking. And so we're going to be expecting at least, I, I don't know, at least one. I don't know if Rodas wants to make a bet with me in public about how many uh, Nigerians we're gonna have, but we've put quite an effort uh, to get Nigerians on board. And so we should have more Nigerians. We should have, I think we have one Kenyan on board. We'll have more Kenyans. And so this uh, move back to making the program Pan-African uh, is, is part of what we're going to see in Cohort B. Any other announcements from the team? Nothing really. Uh, well, Are the we going to bet with us? Uh, <laughs> yes, sure. Um, we we will have at least 20 Nigerians for Cohort B. 20? Oh at, so, yeah. at least. At least 20. Okay, so, yeah. you're, you're, so Rodas is betting 20 or less, and I'm going to bet 21 or more because I can't bet against our success. So what, what's the bet? Are we going to um, Asmara? Yeah, I think Shiro will do. Yeah. But not, not Shiro, I want Asmara Shiro. Okay, Asmara Shiro. Okay, all right. So every, you guys are all my witnesses, Rodas, and this is being recorded, so Rodas has to buy me uh, as much Shiro as I want from Asmara and vice versa. Okay, so let's go quickly around the group. I uh, want to know how people are feeling about their preparations and then if there's any blockers, and then we'll go into a Q&A session. We can also just handle the Q&A right now. Um, let's see how it goes. So let's go around the group. Let's hear from everyone. Everyone who's here, everyone who's lying in bed feeling bad about not having a job, uh, we'll deal with that separately. Okay, who's up first? Basil, let's go. People who are here on time, Basilel was first. And then we had uh, Rudolf was also here, uh, Eiaia was here, um, Yovtahe was here, Miskano was uh, kind of on time, 
uh, almost on time. So let's let's go in that order. Um, all right, hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling uh, semi-positive. Uh, I do. I mean, I I am uh, fairly happy with my CV and LinkedIn. I do have a bit to put on the others, so I kind of. I kind of will have to do both as I as I work on the others and uh, also application at the same time. That, but, that's a very non-committal response, Basilo. You're feeling yeah, I'm not doing anything. anything. <laughs> mostly okay. Uh, it's it's mostly just uh, speculative. It's like uh, I'm half good, I'm half prepared, and I'm half uh, everything. So, okay, but that's if you had, if you had to go to binary, good, not good. I, I am closer to the good than not good. Okay. Honest, yeah. Okay. So yeah. if we ask for a binary re response, then you're good. You're optimistic. Yes. Okay. Yes. But if you just ask for a general one, I'm half good. Something like that. Exactly. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Around. Point zero. Yeah. Point zero five. Point zero five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're at four significant figures. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's, all right. All right, thank you. Uh, who? So we can go to uh, Yuftai, Rudolf, or Aya. I actually don't remember the exact joining order right now. I think Aya was second. Let's go to Aya. Uh, good morning, Garon, and everyone. <clears throat> Aya, um, what what are you going to do with the I'm seven pages of your CV that you buried? <laughs> I think your CV was eight pages at the start. I, I don't know. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, I, I, I think I'm happy with it because uh, you should, those like, have a ceremony or something. experience you should, might not help. You should, you should yeah, have a yeah. ceremony for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Do, um, you have idea, right? I'm feeling good. Do you have an idea? Uh, Are you part of an idea? Come again? Are you part of an edir? Edir, edir you know, this, uh, you know uh, the thing that goes the funeral thing. Don't you guys have this edir? I don't. I'm probably not saying uh, it properly. Uh, I think my, my my wife is part of edir, but I, I'm not <laughs> because so, I'm. Will they take care of the seven zero, pages so for you? I didn't. I mean, can they take care of those seven pages for you? <laughs> Maybe the idea can, you know, all the people can cook and have a ceremony. <laughs> yeah. No? Um, yeah, so um, I'm not sure if okay. if you know, uh, I moved back to Bahardar uh, on Friday. Ah, great. Uh, okay, the internet is working. Matter. Is the internet working in Bahardar? Yes. Uh, but it's still in the campus, and I can work only up to uh, 3 p.m. UTC. Mm -hmm. After well, that, I have to go home. And also during the daytime, uh, sorry, there's a lag. I was asking what happens after 3 p.m.? After 3 p.m., I will go home, um, help my wife with something, something, and the mm. kids with homework. <clears throat> and then I wake up in the morning, come to straight office. But there is um, a now and then power outage. <laughs> You're giving us a lot of detail here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, I... Don't don't tell us what happens at night, please. We don't need to know everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I have a okay, that sounds that sounds good. So then we have to be the, the, the application process. Uh, other than that, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm ready for. Okay. Good. Sounds good. Let's go to Yoftahe. Okay, good morning, uh, guys. Arun. Good morning. Uh, 
So as far as the, my, my materials are concerned, they are uh, pretty decent, I would say, good. Uh, and I'm ready for the job applying process. Mm -hmm. So are uh, they, but so you, you said pretty decent or good, are they error free? <clears throat> are they sufficient? Yeah, I think they are chef sufficient for uh, this entry level jobs, I think. And I will improve it as I go, maybe if, if, it, if, if it is needed. Uh, my only concern is uh, on the medium. Uh, I don't one, have as much. Medium. Medium. Okay, yeah, that's that's not essential. I think really getting your LinkedIn, CV, GitHub, and other like those those are the top ones, and then everything else is sort of bonus. Yeah, if that's so, so I have a, a good materials, I would say. So I'm ready for the job application. Okay, excellent, uh, Rudolf. Yeah, good morning, Aaron. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, with my material, I feel also good. Uh, with my CV, my LinkedIn, uh, and with GitHub. But when it's come to the museum also, um, I think that through the way, I will be improving the, the, the GitHub and the museum. So I um, feel good for, for the GitHub application. Mm -hmm. We have we have at least one very strong application from Benin. I think it seems like you guys have a system in Benin. You guys always send us at least a hand, one or two really strong people. It's usually just one person per batch from Benin for whatever reason. It's like we have a quota from Benin. <laughs> who, who sent who sent Beninese? <laughs> who sent the application or who sent what? Because you said uh, you you have a free people from Benin, and I was saying who sent them? <laughs> I guess they come from you, so you know these people. <laughs> you know these people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm happy yeah. to to hear that there are some Beninis uh, in the next cohort. That's good. And you feel like your materials are up to date? You're, they, uh, you're happy with them? They reflect your both your knowledge and they reflect the fact that you know what type of job you're looking for? Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go to Miskano. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, yeah, for me as well, I would say, yeah, my materials are sufficient or they are ready. I, I tailored them based on the feedback I received. So, yeah, I would say my LinkedIn, CV, and uh, my GitHub, I think they are, they are good, I would say. But for the medium, I think I would, I would, I would have to add some, some more uh, blogs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those, again, the, the medium is really, I think this that's the type of thing that one can work on when they have a little bit of time. But if the CV, LinkedIn, GitHub are really up to date and they're, at standard, then that's that's a good place to start. Okay. Yeah, the three they are ready. The GitHub, LinkedIn, and my CV. They are ready. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to Akram then, please. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So I would also say that I'm on the good side. Uh, so I'm ready, I think. Okay. My LinkedIn and GitHub. I think they are good to go for the job application. Okay, and if you, so that's a very positive uh, expression. If you compare what you have now to what you had before, how do you feel? I, I think it's not comparable, to be honest. Okay. It's a difference. Yeah, excellent. That's what I want to hear now. Will. Now, Will, are you there? Okay, if Nao can't speak, then let's go to Meron. Okay, good morning. Good morning, Meron. Oh, I am feeling around good and the application materials already, I think. And if there is a need for modification, I will modify. So okay. I, I will start applying. 
Okay, <clears throat> good. And you think your seat, your materials reflect your knowledge as well as um, the type of job that you want? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, let's go to Melat. Okay, so Melat is typing here, and uh, so then Abraham, you can see everyone, you guys. You know what? You can see the listing in the chat. I'm just following that. So let's let's take some initiative and just follow what's in the chat. So Abraham, testify, then Abraham Addis. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, yeah, so today I'm feeling a bit. Uh, I'm feeling well. I feel energetic. I am ready to go on with uh, the application forward. I have been trying to apply uh, on a few applications before, before this, prior to uh, today and yesterday. Uh, and I've been receiving some uh, unacceptance letters. So I'm practicing and seeing what's missing uh, eventually and will hopefully do better in the few, in the days to come forward. Did you, what did you call them, unacceptance letters? Unaccept I've been getting unaccept unacceptance. Okay, yeah, that's a very, it's a nice way to phrase it. I like that phrase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, uh, will we be having to do the recommended jobs from 10x today? Uh, <clears throat> for the Ethiopians in the group, Xavier Mescal. Huh? <laughs> Xavier Mescal. Um, No, you don't, you don't know what I'm saying. Can somebody translate? Can somebody give me an Amharic Amharic translation? I think you wanted to say Xavier Yaakov. God knows. Oh, oh sorry. Xavier Yaakov. Sorry. <laughs> and yes, the jobs uh, will be available today. Okay. okay. So, so I think it's, it's, very, it's very painful when you, you think you're saying it perfectly and all the actual people who know how to speak the language are like, what? <laughs> we'll practice a few more. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I think, look, I, so one thing I want us not to do is to depend on those jobs. I think we should take them as a tool, but I don't, uh, it should never be, and this is true for all parts of the job search process and all parts of your career. <clears throat> I've seen people who have said, things like, you know, I'm just waiting for a recommendation letter, or I need to get that introduction, or I need my ABC before something can happen. My recommendation to all of you is don't, don't give, give that power to somebody else. Don't say the 10X team, their job match system is not running for whatever reason, and that's why I couldn't apply. We're gonna be applying today, um, but your applying for jobs will be made easier by uh, the recommended jobs that are coming from the 10x team, but it should not be a precondition. So I think they will be coming today. I know the team has been working hard on this. However, let us not make it a precondition and let us not say if the jobs aren't uh, perfectly correct, because they won't be, they'll continue to improve, but they won't be perfect. Um, let's not use that as a reason for why we weren't able to get ABC done. Okay. So next on the list is Abraham Addis. Okay, so I just see what you wrote. Alexander then? Guys, come on. I mean we 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 can surely run this process, right? Like just look at the list if somebody else is, just run it without me. So Alexander, please go ahead. Yes, okay, good morning everyone. Good morning. Uh, okay, today I reached uh, my, with my materials are ready for uh, the publication. I strive for to be my best CV, LinkedIn and Medium account more than uh, two weeks ago, as you know all. So, I'm confident my material is uh, a little bit ready 
uh, however uh, when my CV is missing uh, a scale and I will include in the future for the time being now the materials are ready for applying uh, any remote jobs so my status is here like I said yeah and since I am ready now okay fine who's next Ding. Mubarak hello on my order yeah good morning guys good morning uh yeah, my LinkedIn and uh, CV uh, and GitHub are ready for to apply. Mm, and I have started to apply for some jobs too. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was uh, checking the recommended jobs. Most of the jobs are uh, Python related, but my CV is uh, focused on gener generative AI. So do I have to change my CV or is it can no, I apply? Let's, let's with stick with the system that the recommendation system will continue to improve. So let, again, let's take it as a tool, but let's not, uh, it's not to your advantage to say, the system says I should do A, and I know I should do B, so I'm gonna listen to the system A. Okay, so yeah. we have to use our CV. <laughs> you have to use, you have to use your, your <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously you, you do it, you, you, there's no system in the world which is going to know better than you so you know it's it's a tool right that's like if chat gp if you say chat dear chat gpt tell me about me and chat gpt says look you're an elephant who likes running through the forest are you going to start running through the forest <laughs> all right <laughs> and i have a question about like uh the tpf thing yeah i was asking my friends too but uh... <laughs> they are confused too so if i okay. get clarity here wonderful okay well let's talk about that in the q a that's a good good question for the q a okay. yeah okay who's next i think i'm i'm next yeah no, i'm the only one yeah so good morning everyone good morning i'm whatever right yeah yeah so i think my my data LinkedIn and CV are ready for the applications, but uh, I think my CV needs to be, it, 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 some part of it is very big, so I need to make sure that it reflects exactly that what I want to get. That's one thing. And the other thing is the projects that I put on the CV. Uh, I want to, I want to, to post them so that they could be uh, more user friendly so that they can see it. they can see the deployed version i think those two are the things that i'm going to work on and of course there are some which one, which one of those two is priority i think working on the projects making deploying them and if i have to publish something no 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 please don't please don't please get your cv more accurate because remember as you apply for a job today nobody's going to be looking through your projects for at least two to three weeks i see companies are extremely slow okay so first get your cv correct and then uh, you have to improve your knowledge and then you have to improve your materials so don't work on projects you need you need to get that cv accurate you have to point in the right direction i see sure yeah Okay, Abdul Hamid. Yeah, hi Arun. Good morning, everyone. Good so morning. I think I have my application materials ready. Uh, my LinkedIn, GitHub, and CV is I think uh, ready for application job application. I have received some recommendations uh, today from Tena, 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 the Tenex portal system. So I will be checking them out, and that's my update. Okay. Great. Uh, anyone else who we haven't covered? I think we covered everybody. Uh, ready yet? We didn't cover ready yet. And Daniel. Uh, 
Are you guys in a position to go? Okay, Radia is writing. Daniel? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I was uh, I was not uh, in the good place. So uh, I think uh, I am ready to apply the job because uh, my GitHub uh, medium and LinkedIn are ready. Uh, I'm confident on those. Uh, regardless of uh, that, uh, I need to just align it with the job descriptions. Uh, as far as long as I know, they are ready. And uh, this one is uh, my update. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, great. Okay, so let's, uh, I think we can stop the recording or we can go straight to the Q&A. Um, so I can't remember who it was who asked the question about TP 